Hello my lovelies, it's Susanna and today I want to show you how to divide mixed fractions. We go through these three examples together, so let's start with the first one. We want to divide 5 and 7 over 8 by 4 and 1 over 2. To divide mixed fractions, we first convert the mixed fraction into an improper fraction. And we do the same with the second mixed fraction. We will convert it into an improper fraction. How can we do that? Well, we start with the denominator because that's the easy part because the denominator just stays the same. We don't have to change anything. The 8 stays here in the denominator. What about the numerator? Now we always have to multiply these two numbers, so 5 times 8 here for the denominator, but that's not all. We have to add the number we haven't used yet, the 7 here, we add the 7 here and this is going to be the new numerator. The same here, if we want to convert this, we keep the denominator, the 2 here, and then for the numerator, we multiply these two numbers, so 4 times 2, and we add the number we haven't used yet here on top, the 1. And now we only have to calculate this, so here we get 5 times 8, which equals 40, plus 7 equals 47 over 8, and we're going to divide this by 4 times 2 equals 8, plus 1 equals 9 over 2. Okay, this is what we got so far. Now we just want to divide two normal fractions. How do we divide fractions? Well, we keep the first fraction as it is, but instead of dividing by the other fraction, we're going to multiply by its reciprocal. So we switch these two numbers. The 2 goes on top and the 9 is our new denominator. Okay, how do we multiply two fractions now? Um, we multiply it by multiplying the numerators and by multiplying the denominators. But before you do that, take a look if you can reduce something here, because then the numbers are smaller and it's easier to calculate. For example, the 2 and the 8 are both divisible by 2. So 2 over 2 equals 1 and 8 over 2 equals 4. Then we take a look at the other numbers, if we can reduce even more, but 47 and 4 don't have common divisors, and the same with 47 and 9, so we can't reduce more here, which is fine. Then we just multiply these two fractions by multiplying the numerators, so 47 times 1 equals 47, and the same with the denominators, 4 times 9 gives us 36. This is our result now, but since we're working with mixed fractions here, we should write the result as a mixed fraction as well, if it's possible. When can I write a fraction as a mixed fraction? Only if the number on top is larger than the number on the bottom. If that's the case, that this number is larger, then you have an improper fraction, and then you can write this as a mixed fraction. So, how does our mixed fraction look like? We start with the denominator, because we know this is the easy part, it just stays the same. How can we find the number here in front of the fraction? We have to ask ourselves, how often does the 36 go into the 47? So the 47 is not divisible by 36, but the next smaller number that is divisible by 36 is the 36 itself, right? So 36 over 36 equals 1, so the 36 goes one time into the 47. And to find the number here on top, we now 
just have to count the steps from 36 to 47. It's 11 steps, so 11 is the number here on top. And this is our result as a mixed fraction. Number 2. We want to divide 4 by 2 and 2 over 3. We can do that by converting the mixed fraction into an improper fraction first. We don't have to do that with the 4 because it's not a mixed fraction. We just leave the 4 as it is, but we will convert this here by taking the 3. This will be our denominator, so we don't have to change that. But for the numerator, we multiply these two numbers again, so 2 times 3, and then we add the number here on top, we add the 2. Let's calculate this, so 2 times 3 equals 6, plus 2 gives us 8 here in total for this, and now we just want to divide the 4 by this fraction. We can do that by taking the 4, and instead of dividing by the fraction, we multiply by its reciprocal. So the 3 goes on top and the 8 goes down here. Okay, how can we multiply now a number by a fraction? We can write this number as a fraction itself, so always by dividing by 1. And now, before we multiply, we can check if we can reduce these fractions somehow. And we can because the 4 and the 8 are both divisible by 4. 8 over 4 equals 2, and 4 over 4 equals 1. Okay, that's all we can do. And now we multiply these two fractions. 1 times 3 equals 3. 1 times 2 equals 2. This is our result. But the number on top is larger than the one on the bottom, so we know we can write this as a mixed fraction again. We take the denominator, the easy part, and then to find this number here, we ask ourselves how often does the 2 go into the 3. The 3 is not divisible by 2, but the next smaller number would be the 2 itself. So 2 over 2 equals 1. And then we just count the steps from the 2 to the 3, which is just one step. So the 1 is the number that goes on top here. Last example where we have a negative number, but the things will stay the same. We will convert this mixed number into an improper fraction. We just keep the minus in front of the fraction, and then we're going to divide this by this fraction. We don't have to change anything. It's already a normal fraction, so this will stay like this, but here we will convert this by taking the denominator, we all know that now, and here we multiply these two numbers, 7 times 3 equals 21, and then we add the number here, the 1, so this together would give us 22. I write this as a 22 already. We want to divide two fractions we can do that by taking the first fraction with a minus in front of it as it is, and then instead of dividing by the fraction, we multiply by its reciprocal again, so the 3 goes on top and the 2 goes down here. How can we multiply now? We first check if we can reduce these fractions, and we can because 22 and 2 are both divisible by 2. Uh, 2 over 2 equals 1, 22 over 2 equals 11, and here the 3, we can cancel it out as well. 3 over 3 equals 1, 3 over 3 equals 1. So we will multiply now. Don't forget the negative sign here. So it's minus times a positive number, which gives us a negative number in total. 
And for the numbers, we have 11 times 1, which is 11, and 1 times 1, which is 1. So we have negative 11 over 1 is just 11. So an over 1, you don't have to write it as a fraction. You can only take the number here on top. It's just negative 11 as a result. I hope you know now how to divide mixed fractions. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I wish you a wonderful day and I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Take care!